Thank you for joining us for day 13 of our 22 Days of Prayer initiative. I'm Paige Peltier. Let's reflect on the words of this song as we worship together. Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The passage we're going to look at this morning is in verse 2. He makes me lie down in green pastures. I don't know about you, but this conjures up a lot of great images uh, to me of naps, cozy, comfortable places to rest, and my shepherd telling me to lie down and take a break. Okay, so what do we know about sheep and about our shepherd? Philip Keller, in A Shepherd Looks at Psalm 23, writes that sheep do not lie down easily unless four conditions are met. Because they are timid, they won't lie down if they're afraid. Because they're social animals, they won't lie down if there's friction among the sheep. If flies or parasites trouble them, they won't lie down. And finally, if sheep are anxious about food or hungry, they won't lie down. Rest comes because the shepherd has dealt with the fear, the friction, the flies, and the famine. 
Now, how many of us struggle to rest when we are fearful in difficult relationships, bothered by flies or other distractions, or worried about provisions, and think that is all up to us and I know what to do? So what does it mean for us today? First, I think we need to trust our Good Shepherd knows where the green pastures are. He knows the difficult terrain that we may need to travel to get to those green pastures, but we need to trust and follow Him. Second, let's be reminded that our Good Shepherd cares about even the smallest details to help us find rest. He knows our fears and worries and cares deeply about them and knows when we need to rest. So the three things I want us to focus our prayers on today are those obstacles to that rest that are true for sheep and so often true for us. First, let's pray against fear. Second, let's pray for reconciliation in our relationships with others. And third, let's pray against distraction and worry.